Ahead of game four between the Montreal Canadiens and at Tampa Bay Lightning. Gentlemen, our coverage here on the fourth period brought to you as always by BitBuy, Canada's number one cryptocurrency platform. And Dave, for the Montreal Canadiens, it's as simple as this, must win. Yeah, no question. This is a game that the Montreal Canadiens obviously have to win if they want to keep their season going. Now, so far, and I tweeted this as well, and this got people nuts, but when facing elimination, the Canadiens are 3-0 yeah. so far in these playoffs, thanks to the Toronto Maple Leafs. So they're going to certainly hope to continue that streak, but they need to be better overall. There's no question about that one. They, Carey Price needs to be better. The defense needs to be better, which is the most surprising thing to me. The top four guys weren't as sturdy on the blue line as they had been in this series as they had been prior to the Stanley Cup final. And they need to get the offense going, which we saw a little bit of DB in the previous game. So everything needs to improve for the Montreal Canadiens. Well, Dave, I don't think the Habs are going 7-0 and in elimination <laughs> games because that's what they'll need to do to win a title. Uh, I will also say this with respect to their offense, Dave. Uh, five on five, no forward has been on the ice for more than one goal. So their five-on-five -five play has to improve in game four. You can talk about penalty kill. You can talk about goaltending with Carey Price. You can talk about the defense. And I think the defense is wearing down at this point because they're basically they're playing four defensemen. But for me, it's the five-on-five -five production, the Andersons, the Toffolis, those guys, and Gallagher. Those guys really need to step up in game four if they're going to extend the final. Dennis, when you look at this Tampa Bay Lightning team and heading into the Stanley Cup final, you say the fourth one is always the hardest one to win, but they just won it, you know, not too long ago. So if you're John Cooper, what's your message to your team? Stay on point. Let's get the same performance from Game 3. Alex Klorn is flying in for Game 4. That would be a nice add as well. But I think they just want to replicate their effort from Game 3 and don't be a something. Don't assume that the Canadians are just going to throw in the town down 0-3. Assume it's still 0-0. This is game one, not game four clincher. You know, I'm, I'm actually curious to see how this extra day off in between games, so they have yeah. two days off between games three and four, how much that impacts the Montreal Canadiens. Maybe they needed a little bit of extra rest to kind of get back on track and to get things going here. So perhaps that helps, especially guys like Jeff Petrie and Shea Weber, whom we know are battling injuries. So maybe that extra day gives them a little bit of rest and also gives Carey Price a bit of a break as well. Yeah, guys, it's going to be an interesting game four between the Montreal Canadiens and the Tampa Bay Lightning as the Habs are looking to stave off elimination while the Tampa Bay Lightning are looking to hoist the Stanley Cup.